everyone to my day not raw as we are live in Greensboro North Carolina here comes the Queen in Charlotte from the Queen City former first ever raw women's champion here on Monday not raw Charlotte made a return back at Survivor Series, and ever since they've kind of been on a, a little bit of a losing streak. Lost to Bailey last week on Raw. Lost to uh, Stephanie McMahon in a fatal four-way two weeks ago. And now tonight, she'll be in tag team action to begin tonight's episode of Raw. Jam pack with over 14,000 fans in the arena. As we wait for Charlotte's partner. In the boss in Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks made it clear that she's after that Raw Women's title, but she has a lot of things in her way. Stephanie McMahon, Eva Marie, and of course the corporate sucker in Bailey. Now, now Sasha Banks' uh, championship aspirations will be on hold for, for the moment because Stephanie McMahon is the current number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. So maybe tonight Charlotte and Sasha Banks can equally get revenge on Bailey and Stephanie McMahon tonight in this tag match. What a way to begin Monday Night Raw. And here comes their opponents. And look at this. You see Bailey now. Not wearing anything colorful, just wearing black. Just wearing a black attire with a white shirt. Bailey not looking to be colorful and she's coming out with Steffi McMahon. As we all know, Steffi McMahon wanted to become a, a performer in the, in the ring, but she still has her position as a WWE Chief Brand Officer. As a uh, WWE Executive, so to speak. But now she's number one contender for the Raw Women's title. Could she possibly win the championship for the first time in since 2000? We'll find out on the champions when it's Lita versus Stephanie McMahon for the title. But we'll wait to begin Raw with this tag match. Charlotte and Bayley are going to start off this matchup in the tag team match. As Charlotte just tossing her across the ring. A lot of matches tonight. We'll announce it after this matchup. As Bailey, aggressive right off the right off the gate. Two elbows directed to Charlotte. And, oh, a jawbreaker by Charlotte and a clothesline taking down Bailey. These two obviously a little bit of a little bit of a rivalry. As Charlotte, oh no, trying to go for a drop kick, but Bailey able to dodge that bullet. And I've got Charlotte here, front headlock. Got her up, look at this, Frankensteiner. Frankensteiner takes down Charlotte, but oh, makes the tag. Here comes the woman that defeated Charlotte back at Survivor Series in Steffi McMahon. As Steph got her, whip off the rope, Charlotte got caught. Ooh, a hit toss by Steph. And now Steffi, look at the, just taunt Charlotte, but ooh, Charlotte, Charlotte looking to make her pay. Dropping her shoulder first and now makes the tag to the boss. And Sasha Banks had a great showing in that fatal forward match two weeks ago on Raw. Had a match with Eva Marie in a, during a uh, WWE live event during the week. Defeated Eva Marie in that match. As now, Sasha Banks. All over Stephanie at the moment, but Steph got her oh high knee. That knee lift. I think to the chest, if not to the face of uh of Banks. Now make the tag. Here comes Bailey. 
And now Bailey whipping her off the ropes. As Zoro trying to go for it. Then a Frankenstein but got caught. Powerbomb by Sasha Banks that time. These two had a match on Raw a couple weeks back. And Sasha Banks was the one that stood tall. And now look at this. Kick to the gut. Bailey in trouble. Cross side. Neck breaker. The bankrupt. But Banks normally goes for the cover after that. But I guess Banks are going to make Bailey go through more. Go through more pain. No wait. Oh, four to the face. Banks has something else in mind, but Bailey made her think otherwise. Backbreaker by Bailey. And now Bailey. Look at a measure. Her her opponent and Sasha, but there's, there's some people in the crowd that's chanting for Bailey. Bailey almost set up for that better belly. As uh, Sasha Banks oh, got her in the corner, but boot to the face by Bailey. Able to counter. And now oh, Bailey got her. Bailey got her. The better the belly. Got her. Hooks the leg. Got her down. On oh, a kick out of two. Almost had her, but Banks says no. Able to kick out at two. Out of that better the belly. Whipping Bailey to the corner. Boot to the face. Try to go for something. And now oh, got her. Whip her into the corner. Bad corner, bad situation for Sasha Banks, but Banks are gonna fight out of it. He goes fight out of that corner. Nice takedown. Now Banks. Could have Bailey here. Whip her into the corner. And Charlotte now make the tag. Double team move. Look at this. Ooh, a neck snap and a kick to the spine. Double team maneuver by Banks and Charlotte. Goes for a cover, does the queen. Does she have Bailey down for the three? No, oh, and a kick out of two. As Charlotte is kind of not in her hometown exactly, but she kind of has a, I guess, a home state advantage over Bailey and Stephanie McMahon. As Bailey tried to go for a DDT, but got countered into a side leg sweep, a side rush of leg sweep by Charlotte. And now Charlotte trying to set up Bailey. For possibly the figure four or the figure eight, even. As oh, got her with that spear. Charlotte with that spear onto Bailey. And now Charlotte. Uh oh. Oh look at this. Look at that. Oh, drop her with that knee. That signature knee. Like her father, Ric Flair, in Charlotte, and now. Charlotte looking to put it in to Bailey. I thought she was gonna go for the figure eight, but I guess not. Had other plans. Kick to the abdomen. You know what's coming. Natural selection. Charlotte. Natural selection. Is that enough? Look at the proof why she's genetically superior. Banks. Stop Stephanie as Charlotte and Sasha Banks get the win live on Raw. McMahon missed and she hit Sasha Banks. But she did not stop Charlotte from getting the three. As Charlotte and Sasha Banks are going to stand tall. You're live on Raw. Not a good way for uh, Stephanie McMahon to uh, build her way into the championship match. And not of champions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are our matches for tonight. Our main event tag team match. We're going to have Finn Balor teaming up with Samoa Joe. Returning to action against the big dog Roman Reigns and the U.S. champ. Big Show. That's our main event. Also, we're going to have Braun Strowman in action later on tonight on Monday Night Raw. The monster will feast tonight. Also, the return of the dangerous Asuka live on Raw for the first time since Survivor Series. All this on tonight's show. Oh, and we're getting ready for some action. Here comes Long Island IC, Zack Ryder. Former tag team champion in WWE, former United States champion. But for the past couple years in Universe Ball, he hasn't really done much. Zack Ryder has been in big situations before, like earlier this year. Back in February, Zack Ryder was in the uh, WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match. I believe he was the first man eliminated, but nothing less, he was in a big match situation. Can't take that away from Zack Ryder. And that's tonight, they're going to be looking to compete in singles action for the first time in a while. Without Mojo Rawley at his side. Mojo Rawley, Zack Ryder, we've seen them have tag team matches. We're so close of 
possibly gaining a win in that tag team tournament but sadly they were not successful in the end the Lucha Dragons won the tournament and now they're tag team champions here comes New Jersey Zone and Enzo Amore and the reason why he's competing tonight my name oh. is Enzo Amore and I am a speak. certified chief and a bona fide stump and can't teach that certified G. realest guy in a room how do you do he's a certified G and he's uh the realest guy in the room and so Amar they're gonna be in action to get Zack Ryder without his buddy Big Cass behind him because Big Cass last week got assaulted by The Undertaker Undertaker scheduled to have a match against Big Cass last week Big Cass was making his entrance and Undertaker came in he just came out during the entrance of Big Cass and assaulted him before the match even began and then the match did happen and The Undertaker made him tap out to the Hell's Gate and then after the match Undertaker went would have a uh, post-match assault on Big Cass as, as this matchup begins as Zack Ryder and Enzo Amore. Look at Enzo. Ooh. Nice suplex by the former tag team champion. Drop kick. Or former. Actually former number one contender for tag team championship in Enzo. As Enzo Amore now. Big Smith drop kick. After that post. Uh, during the post-match assault by the Undertaker. Undertaker would hit Big Cass with a tombstone. That's the main reason why Big Cash is not here tonight to back up Enzo in this situation. And, oh my god! Enzo Amore with his innovative offense trying to go for a drop kick. But Long Island IC able to get out the way. And now Zack Ryder. Oh my god! Zack Ryder's former signature move, which was the. Uh, he calls it the Zack Attack. Look at Enzo just stomping or stepping over Zack Ryder. Enzo Amore with that running crossbody. It's crowd chanting, how you doing? And oh, Enzo, he, ca he calls this. He's trying to set up for that DDG. And he got him. DDG by Enzo Amore. Off the second rope with that DDG. And that rider able to get a shoulder up. Good grief. Zack Ryder able to get a shoulder up off of the DDG by Enzo. That leaping DDT able to catch him in midair. And now Enzo possibly looking to go for it again. And oh no! He tried to go for it again, but Ryder got out the way that time. And now Zack trying to go for a neck breaker. But Enzo able to counter. Zack Ryder has done something that Enzo has never done before in WWE. Hold championship titles. Ryder's been a former. United States Champion, Intercontinental Champion I might add, and also a Tag Team Champion, but this could be a big win for Enzo in the kickout. Every team Enzo and Big Cass on Raw, not much this this year. Last year on SmackDown, they would be in Tag Team title matches, but this year, not much. It's kind of been the New Day, the Lucha Dragons, and the Revivals year so far. Blake and Murphy stepped up at the moment. But was not able to win the tag team uh, title tournament. And here comes Zack Ryder. Looking to build momentum. Off the corner. Ooh. Double knees. Now right up top. Drop kick. Missile dropping as Ryder. On a frenzy. Form to the face. Got him in the corner. And Zack Ryder. Broski boot. And now Ryder, we're going to put the exclamation point of this match. Enzo, we're going to be put away by Zack Ryder. Rough Ryder. And now the crowd chanting for Ryder. Hooks the leg off the Rough Ryder. Two. Ryder gets a win on Raw. Look at that. What a, what a, what a good match between Enzo and, and Ryder. In the end, Zack Ryder able to stand tall over... Uh, the N New Jersey's own. The Trash Talker Skywalker. That's what he calls himself. Enzo Amore. Not able to get a win. Live on Raw. And Zack Ryder. Able to get a W. On his own. Not in a taxi match. My God.
Great match, but Enzo off to his feet. Got to show Enzo some respect, though. He's able to hang in there. Almost won the match, but not successful. What the? What the hell? Well, wait a minute. No! Undertaker from behind. He got Enzo. What goes up? Choke slam. The Undertaker. What the hell? As we're back live on Raw, you see uh, uh, Samoa Joe getting ready for this tag match later on tonight with uh, Finn Balor and Roman Reigns and the Big Show later on. But what the hell did we just see? But well, we gotta move on. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next live on Raw, Oscar, the dangerous Oscar, returns to action on Monday Night Raw for the first time in weeks. Live right now. are back. Live on Raw, we have Little Miss Bliss. Little Miss Twisted Bliss. And Alexa Bliss are going to be in action against the dangerous Asuka. The return of Asuka. Here comes the most destructive force in the women's division today. Here comes Asuka. We yeah, haven't seen Oscar since Survivor Series, but first appearance on Raw since being assaulted by Bailey many weeks back, and I'm pretty sure that's still on the mind of Oscar that she's planning to get revenge on the corporate suck-up in Bailey. And I'm pretty sure there's some new viewers that don't understand why I keep referencing Bailey as a corporate suck-up. Many weeks ago, after Bailey attacked Oscar. Was left for Oscar to be off TV until Survivor Series. Bailey came out and said, "Well, Raw was in Hartford, Connecticut, so Bailey came out and said that she loves the Authority and all this stuff. She's just basically sucking up to the higher ups in WWE. As we were close to Stanford, Connecticut, that episode of Raw. And now the son, she's buddy buddy with Stephanie McMahon." If you catch my drift. But anyways. Asuka. Returns to action against Alexa Bliss. Here we go. Matchup is on the way. These two. Uh, pretty sure have been in the ring before. And you know. They, I'm pretty sure Alexa Bliss. Has probably learned her mistakes. From being in the ring with Asuka. As Asuka now. Got out with the waist lock. Able to get out of. Get out of Alexa Bliss's waist lock. And I got to Lift her up. Planting her gut first. Ground inside headlock. And a little shot there, a little jab there by Oscar. And another one. Got up a tie up once again. And now Oscar got the arm of Alexa Bliss. Looking to do damage. Ramming her shoulder into hers and now just tossing her. And now off the ropes. Oh, I think she missed her with that head kick. But Oscar able to bounce back. Oof. A shot to the gut. As Oscar now. Nasty stomp. And now just looking to wrench the neck of Bliss. Pretty sure Bailey is on the is on the mind of Oscar, but Oscar's gotta stay focused against Bliss. Oscar's yet to be defeated on Monday Night Raw. Never lost a match. And that goes for a cover. Does Alexa Bliss and a not even a kick out. She she's playing with Oscar. Like I don't know if that's wise as Bliss. The Hitman Slam. I don't know if that's wise for Bliss to be playing around with the most dangerous woman on the Raw roster right now in Oscar. And now Bliss trying to dive off the second rope. Trying to go for a little stomp. But Oscar got out the way. Got it with a crucifix pin. Cover down. Shoulders are down. Kick it at one. And now Oscar. Just waiting for Bliss to get up to her feet. And now look at this. Ooh, drop kick. Right on the button. Goes for a cover. Picture perfect drop kick and a kick out of one by Bliss that time. As Oscar, look at that form to the face. And I'll try to charge up for a kick. But Bliss caught her with that sit out jawbreaker. The lower Bliss went, the more effective, but God almighty with that shot. 
that big right and now Oscar with another kick and now Oscar kicks to the gut and now they're gonna go for the running hip attack Oscar hip attack is that enough to count and a kick at a two almost had her and now Bliss is in trouble the multi the multiple kicks oh god with that spinning back runhouse kick by Asuka hooks the outside leg is that enough for Bl no it's not Bliss able to kick out at that time before Asuka normally hits those combination of kicks and and, and get the win trying to go for hip attack in the corner but Bliss well scouted trying to go for a cover got it down got it down pins Got her down the pin combination and a kick out. Had it on the pin pinning uh, predicament, but plus able to fight through, able to stay alive. Got her. No, no way. Oscar able to counter. Plus was going for a Frankensteiner, but Oscar able to counter. Kick. Got her down to her knees. Vicious shots to the chest. Here comes Oscar. Oh, kick to the side of the head. Those kicks by Asuka. Is that enough for Bliss to stay down for the three? No, it's not. You gotta give Bliss credit. Able to stay alive in this match. You can't deny the heart from Bliss. Able to fight. The courage to withstand the pain of Asuka. Cover off the inverted backbreaker and then shot her up. So close. Bliss almost had her. Almost ended the uh, undefeated streak that Asuka's been building since he... Arrived on Monday Night Raw, the night after SummerSlam. The unique bridge cover got her down. It's that in for Bliss and a kick out. Competitive matchup. Very competitive. Trying to go for a shot from behind. Oscar got her. Oscar got her. Cross arm bar. Got her with an arm bar submission hold. Got her down. Can Bliss fight out of this one? Got her down. I think. No, wait. Yes. Bliss. Able to fight through again. My God, I don't know what I'm witnessing. But Bliss. Oh, no. This is even worse than those kicks. The Oscar lock. The Oscar lock. Oscar. Drastic measures. And she taps out. The Oscar lock. Like that was Oscar's last resort to put away Alexa Bliss. What a matchup! Able to fight through does Alexa as Oscar stands tall on Monday Night Raw. Bailey, you better watch out, watch your back, because Oscar is coming for you. Big win for Oscar on a return match on Monday Night Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's time for Braun Strowman to return to action live on Raw. Who will his opponent be? We'll find out next on Raw. As we're back live on Raw, as we have Bo Dallas getting ready for action against the monster, Braun Strowman. Bo Dallas, he, he, he challenged. He wanted a challenge tonight, and he's going to get it. Here comes the monster among men, the former Universal Champion, Braun Strowman. Monster among men, they're gonna go to work tonight, looking to feast on his prey here tonight in Bold Dallas. Bold Dallas, he talked himself into this one. Apparently, Bold Dallas backstage earlier today. He had a conversation with Shane McMahon saying he wanted a challenge. He defeated the likes of Dolph Ziggler, Apollo Crews, and many more. But now, he now he got a big challenge. And that is literal in Braun Strowman here tonight. I haven't seen much of Braun Strowman. I haven't seen Braun since Survivor Series. When he competed in the six-man Hell in the Cell match for the Universal Championship. Which Roman Reigns able to escape. With the championship, they would be able to retain the title. As Braun Strowman looking to compete against that man in Bo Dallas. 
This will not be a cakewalk for Bo Dallas. Or it will be a cakewalk for Braun Strowman, maybe. We'll find out right now. That's Dallas. That's, oh God, Strowman just summoning him down. No hold. Not even, not holding anything back. And Strowman driving that knee to the face of, of Dallas. Or the other way around. However you want to look at it. As Braun Strowman got him here. Stop to the gut. Strowman has been through a lot. In uh, on Monday Night Raw. He's kind of been coming into his own. Oh, dead left gun right suplex by Strowman. And uh, Strowman, oh God. The grip on the shoulder of Dallas. Excruciating pain for Dallas. And now, I mean, I'm pretty sure Braun Strowman is a little bit upset that he didn't win that match as Dallas is going to battle back that little short arm clothesline. Able to take down the beast. And able to keep him down for a bit. And Strowman getting choked out by Dallas. And oh, wait a minute. Ooh. A little bit of offense. Uh, Dallas got in, but in the end, Strowman. They're gonna shut him down. And oh my god, a boot to the the chest of of Strowman! Dallas took him down, and then Strowman came back with an arm, with an arm drag, and again got the grip of Dallas's shoulder. Excruciating pain. And look, now look at Dallas able to find an opening. That leg sweep. Dallas trying to be that little engine that could going up against the monster. But Braun Strowman looking to make him think otherwise. And now Braun again with that shoulder. That shoulder claw by Strowman. That grip. Got him here. Is Dallas going to... Is he going to tap out? Or no. No. Fed a leg sweep. Even to get a leg sweep on the Strowman. And a snapmare takedown. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. He's taking on the former WWE Universal Champ. This could be a massive win for Dallas. Second rope set on on the Strowman. This could be a, a big win for Dallas's career right now. But Strowman, back body drop. I mean, again, you he, Dallas has defeated Cactus Jack, I might add. He defeated Dolph Ziggler, and now Strowman got him in that submission hold. He defeated Paulo Cruz. That could be a big win if he added Strowman to that list. But is Dallas going to tap? No, he does not. Even a fight out of it. Oh, boot to the face. The size of Strowman's feet. Able to crush the, the face of da but Dallas. Bo Dallas. That knee to the face. And a short arm clothesline. Dallas in a cover and a kick out. I can't believe that Bo Dallas is still in this. I'm, I can't believe that he's still he's still hanging in. He's still hanging in this match. And now Dallas, Bo Dazzler, the Bo Dazzler, got a four cover, hooks the leg on the former Universal Champion, and a kick out of two. So close, yet so far away for Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas. Might have something here. Backhand chop block. Elbow to the face of Strowman. Strowman trying to go for a choke slam. Big right. Big right again. And now Strowman got him. Braun. Oh my god. Tossing him across the ring. Able to toss him across the ring. The Strowman. And now Braun Strowman. They're going to set him up. He got him up with that power slam. All I can say right here. It's elementary. Bo Dallas tried, but in the end, the monster has succeeded. Braun Strowman able to stand tall in this matchup. I gotta give Bo Dallas credit. He stood in there. He tried his best, but in the end, he took on a challenge that not even him could overcome. Braun Strowman, the monster among men, successful. 
here tonight. Don't miss less than two weeks from tonight. WWE Night of Champions on October 8th with Raw and SmackDown under one roof once again in Calgary, Alberta, Canada going up north in Canada. Also, every title is up for grabs. You don't want to miss Night of Champions. As we're back from the break, coming up next, our main event, Balor and Joe against Reigns and The Big Show. It's live on Raw next. Here it comes, the number one contender, the only man to become number one contenders for two chippy chips on two separate pay-per-views. Here comes Finn Balor. Finn Balor able to defeat Baron Corbin last week on Monday night. Able to become the number one contender for big shows United States Championship. Now the thing is, can Balor be the one to dethrone the Giant at Night of Champions? Can Balor be the one to end the lengthy reign of the Big Show? Big Show's held the title since Extreme Rules when he defeated Dolph Ziggler. Could he be the one? Could Balor be the one? To put down the giant for good. Big Show's been on this big momentum, this big roll for months. Apollo Crews, Mike Bennett, Dolph Ziggler, both Dolph Ziggler and Apollo Crews, Braun Strowman, Rusev, even Samoa Joe couldn't put down the giant Big Show. And speaking of Samoa Joe, the former Universal Champion. Samoa Joe has an opportunity to dethrone the Roman Empire at Night of Champions. Joe having his long-awaited rematch against Roman Reigns. Reigns able to survive Hell in the Cell. Will he be able to survive the Samoan submission machine in Samoa Joe? We'll find that out in less than two weeks in Calgary at Night of Champions. But tonight we're having this tag match. Joe and Balor teaming up against the Big Show and Roman Reigns. Joe and Balor has been in the ring before with one another in a one-on-one -on -one match before. It's going to be interesting to see how they're going to gel as a tag team here tonight. And it's so funny how, the, how things change on Raw. After Joe got rid of John Cena, Joe at, at first was being booed by the crowd. And Rance was being cheered. Now it's the other way around. Joe is being cheered. Roman getting booed. But I guess he's in uh, North Carolina. I guess there's some Roman Reigns fans. As the big dog. Look at me in action. The first Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Look at the goal. Go to war. Go to battle against Balor. And Joe. Roman Reigns able to survive Hell in the Cell. Will he be able to survive Joe? Will he be able to. If he does survive Joe, will he be able to survive the demon in Balor? Will he be able to survive Balor at the Royal Rumble? Can Roman Reigns survive long enough to possibly main event WrestleMania as Universal Champion? Obviously, everything this year so far. First time Universal title has been defended in all of the pay-per-views of this year. And this coming year, this coming WrestleMania, this Royal Rumble, and the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. All of that, first time ever for the Universal title. Universal Ch Championship has been defended inside Hell in the Cells, Triple Threats. Here tonight, we have... Two champions teaming up against their challengers. Here, it's on, here comes the world's largest athlete able to. Uh, he told me himself able to lose a little, little, a couple of pounds to fit that United States title around his waist. Big Show able to custom made the uh, WWE United States title. It's not the uh, default U.S. title. 
the longest reigning champion, the most dominant WWE United States Champion we've ever had in Universe Mode. There's not a soul that's ever dominated the WWE Monday Night Raw as champion like the Big Show. The longest reigning champion in Universe Mode overall. There's not one champion today right now that's held the title longer than the Big Show. Or has held the title as long as the Big Show. Here we go, matchup is coming up right now, underway as of right now. Bella's rung as Ballard and Roman. They're gonna start off, they're gonna have a maybe a preview of the uh, Royal Rumble match between these two at the pay-per-view for the Universal Championship. As Balor, able to battle back with that chopper, the running kick, that calf kick, taking down the champ. I mean, Balor, he has his eyes set on that Universal title, but he's got to focus on the U.S. Championship first. At the uh, Night of Champions pay-per-view, Balor looking to springboard, but oh no, he didn't get Roman. I think Roman able to move out the way, or Balor, I think Roman was too close to Balor. Where the air time was, was too big for Balor to connect the move. As Roman Reigns off the second rope of that elbow. As Roman got Balor, rope off the ropes. Oh, the clothesline by the champion. The big dog going to tame the man behind the demon. As Roman Reigns got him, cross leg lock. Elbows to the skull. Nasty shots there by Roman. Gonna try to go for a kick. Balor got out the way though. And now Balor got him in the middle of the ring. Got him. Perfect position. German suplex. As uh, Owen, Roman got up to his feet real quick. Whip into the corner. And now Roman got him. Got him on his shoulders. Oh, the snake guys. Face first onto that turnbuckle. And now Balor whipped into the corner. And now, ooh, boot to the face. Balor trying to battle out of that corner. And I got him another suplex that time, a back suplex. And now Balor makes the tag to the man that'll be challenging Roman for the Universal title in Joe. And oh, God, with a backhand by Samoa Joe. Whip off the ropes. Got him with a reverse atomic drop. Able to plant the champ. Is that enough? Hooks the leg. Reverse atomic drop in the early going of this tag match. And Joe, not enough to keep Roman down for the three. This is our main event on Monday Night Raw Live in Greensboro, North Carolina. As Roman Reigns got Joe with that vertical suplex. Able to block Joe from performing a suplex of his own. As Universal Champion with a Superman punch. Superman punch planted onto Joe. And now Roman, we're going to give a little preview, but Joe able to counter the spear. Able to counter the spear, this Joe. And now Samoa Joe got him in the corner. Back elbow, and Zagari head kick. Roman Reigns is in trouble. The challenger got him, STO. Crowd chanted for Finn, but Joe in control. Got him in the corner. Joe looking to set him up. Joe with the muscle buster. Could that be Roman's feet? And that are champions. The muscle buster for the win. Joe hooks the leg. Balor stops the big show. And Joe and Balor stands tall. What a tag team main event. Balor and Joe able to defeat Roman Reigns to the Big Show. Big Show not able to get into the ring. <laughs> not able to get into the match. Not able to stop Joe's uh, three count. But anyways, thank you for watching Monday Night Raw Live in Greensboro, South Carolina. Tune in to next week where Finn, where Finn Balor will take on Roman Reigns. That is our main event next week live on Raw. Tune in to SmackDown this coming week and many more. Good night from Raw in Greensboro. Joe and Balor stands tall.